Hi guys and welcome back to another video and we'll be making part one of where me where I am looking at every single Premier League team and deciding who they should sign, one player they should sign this January transfer window. So we're starting off with Arsenal. Um they've had a lack of form this season, but they have started to pick up wins. What I think they need is creativity in the midfield to maybe get players like Bamiang's form back up. And I think Hussem Awa from Leon, the French midfielder, is the right um signing. He is a very good midfielder. <clears throat> of course he's banging them in. Well not really he scored a few goals in France, but he's doing really well with Leon and currently they're currently top of the table in France. So yeah, I think Awar will be the right option for Arsenal. Move on to Aston Villa. They don't they don't really have any word that they need to improve on. Uh, of course, they've been doing amazing this season. Uh, they're high flying after almost getting relegated. And they don't need anywhere to strengthen in the start 11, but they could use with an impact sub. I think Blackburn's Adam Armstrong as an impact sub <clears throat> would be the right one. He is banging them in at the championship with Blackburn, former Newcastle, of course, who's had a bit of Premier League experience. And uh, he would be a good impact sub and possibly score a few goals coming off the bench for Villa. Now on to Brighton, they've really lacked goals this season, especially at home. Because they've got no wins at home this season, only thing not to have. So what I, th I think they need more firepower up front. And I've gone with Brentford's Ivan Tony. Maybe not for January, but definitely for the summer. He is currently doing amazing with Brentford. Neil Mopé also came from Brentford. He has he's been struggling this season and he's not the right man for Brighton. So Ivan Tony is the right man for Brighton. Now on to Burnley, they had a very bad start to the season. Now they're starting to pick up form again. But what I think they need is a centre midfielder. And I haven't gone with an English one. Uh, Sean Dyche wouldn't be happy about that one. But I've gone with Fulham's Jean Michael Sarri. Of course, he is rumored the linked with a move to Galatasaray. This probably won't happen though, but um, <clears throat> it would be the it would be right for um, it would be right for Burnley because <clears throat> he can do a lot in the midfield, even if it is only Burnley. Um, he hasn't he's been struggling with Fulham, but I think Burnley he could be a decent player. Maybe not starting, but definitely a sub in other hands. Uh, now moving on to Chelsea. Now this is tricky. Do they go for a defender or do they go for an attacker or do they go for a midfielder? I don't think they need to strengthen the midfield too much. Not really the um not really the defence too much, but I think they need an impact sub if Giroud is to leave, they they could do with an impact sub this season. And I've gone with Che Adams of Southampton. He had a bad start to life at, down at the south coast with the Saints, but now he's starting to pick up a few goals. Why not go to Chelsea? He's a really good striker, a good marksman, and he can score a few goals coming off the bench. He'd be the English version of Giroud if he is to leave. Now moving on to Crystal Palace. They've really been struggling this season, and Zaha could be leaving soon. Jordan Ayew's had a lack of form. Uh, Benteke is the same as usual. Batshuayi hasn't been doing too good. So they need a new attacker, and I have gone <coughs> with Romain Fevre, currently linked with Manchester United, Stade Brestois. Um, he has been doing quite good in Ligue 1, and um, he would be the right fit for Roy Hodgson's Palace and really has helped them to get a few more wins, I think. Now, moving on to Everton. Everton have been had an amazing season, had a great start. Then they sort of lacked a bit, and now they're starting to pick up loads of wins again. There's not, there's not much really they need to improve in, apart from I think. I think they um, sorry, <laughs> I I don't I don't know who they need to sign really. I, I don't think they need to sign anyone, <clears throat> really. So I'm gonna give Everton a skip. No one for Everton. I don't think Ancelotti. Or I'll tell you what, Sammy Kadira. He has been linked with Everton, a good midfielder. He was, he's played with James Rodriguez, I'm pretty sure, at Real Madrid. Um, so, sorry, I didn't know who they should have signed there. But uh, Sammy Kadiri just came to my mind there. 
and yeah, Kadira would be the right man for the job. Now on to Fulham, and the one thing Fulham have been lacking this season is goals. They've got Bobby Reid and they've got Ivan Cavallero. They've also got Adam Ola Lukman, but Alexander Mitrovic, despite having a great time last season, he has really been struggling this season. Barely even scored any goals. But um yeah, as I said, they need a new <clears throat> strikesman, one who can definitely strike some goals in. And I think Alvaro Negredo would be the right one here. I know he's aged and he's currently with Cadiz, who are doing very well in La Liga. Um, he's had Premier League experience with Manchester City and Middlesbrough. Why not go to Fulham? He could get them a few goals and he could maybe help them stay up this season. Now moving on to Leeds United. Now Leeds United have been really good this season. But one place they have really been lacking in is the defence. <clears throat> despite scoring a lot of goals, they've also conceded a lot of goals. Like 6 to Manchester United for example. So I think they should re-sign Pontus Janssen from Brentford. Uh, Janssen's been a very good centre-back, a Swedish centre-back. He used to play for Leeds, but only last season he went to Brentford. Um, he would be, I mean, he's, with, he's he's been with Leeds before, and he's been with Bielsa before, so he'd be the right fit and maybe stop uh, Leeds from getting thrashed every now and then. And finally, for part one, we end off with Leicester City. Now, their midfield is solid. But going forward, they've got Vardy, they've got Harvey Barnes, but I don't think Ayose Perez has been too too good. And here is one player who can play on the right wing, Alejandro Papu Gomez from Atalanta. He's Argentinian, he's going to leave this month. Why not go to Leicester? They could really use him. Champions League quality, he's been amazing for Atalanta. So that's the end of part one. Part two will be uploaded later today or tomorrow. And I'll see you all for part two.